Morning. It's gone. It's got picked up in the middle at night, isn't it? It's as if like maybe it didn't have any insurance. It's another cold, frosty morning, isn't it? Check this grass out. Probably not as cold as yesterday though. Looks like we've got another load of plasterboard here. So we better get that weighed in and we'll bed up with that today, I think. There we go. Andy's about. Putting the straw blow away because um, we've got that much of this stuff to get rid of. Morning Andy. Morning Jay. No straw blowing today. Uh, a bit. A bit? Yeah. Oh, right. So we've got, we got plenty of plasterboard to get rid of. <laughs> made a bit of a clamp with the bales yesterday, last night sometime. Um, so we're just going to tip it in the middle of the yard. It's easy access to get it into all the pens and get it used up before it blows away. There we have it. It's coming out now. My dad's on the TM, just feeding him round until his spreader's still there. I've got to go and fix a water drop. The is back in the yard. Hey, it's all busy this morning. Everything's going. Morning, Em. Morning, Jim. What are you saying? I'm going in front of the shoulder. <laughs> what? Right, this doctor yeah. stabbed my arm with a needle. I don't want to infect it. So I stabbed me again in a different place. <laughs> Jesus. Does it, good, stuff does, it look, in does it look nice and is it all swollen up? Yeah, it's all. <laughs> I don't want to see it. No, don't. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't even filming, Moya. Um, anyway, me and Em um, are just fixing this water trough here. I've gone and turned the water off this time, Em, for once. So it might be your job in a minute to go and turn it back on. Because it means that she's got to walk a long way, and I don't like walking, so um, it's Thank Em's job. So me and Em are just tidying up, mess up from this car. Chucking the sign in the bucket and all the rubbish that's been left. Brilliant. I'm just going to get on with pushing all this barley up. So we've got a few loads coming today to restock the barn. Happy time in the new office. <laughs> so we've got another load of barley coming in. M's here. Yep. Trying to sort out the mixer, aren't you? Yeah. And you've just worked out how to open the canopy on my spreader. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> I know it must be a fan. Yeah. Someone just pipping it around about. Um, now we're going to go and get some bags and put them in the fertilizer spreader so I can uh, get off doing that job. So I've got down here, making it a little bit tight for me to get in. This three meter wide uh, tillage spreader. Well, it'll be alright. It's not that bad. It's annoying in summer when we're trying to come down with bale trailers and there's people packed in front of the gate going for a walk. <laughs> They're not there for like half an hour or something. Fantastic. Yeah. Looks like somebody's put a logging field. Look at this. I think it's come down with that storm actually. Looks like somebody's been cutting it up though. So this barley's coming in a little bit patchy in some of the stronger land. But um, I don't think it looks too bad really. It's a lot drier than I expected it down here. So I absolutely hate this junction. Um, and that's a bridge, people come flying through it. And um, if I could be where that car is, it gives me a little bit of a second to see what I'm doing. But with the long bonnet and the weight block on the front, it's really difficult. You have to sort of creep out and just hope that somebody lets you out because uh, it's an absolute nightmare. Safely anyway, because I'm into the next field now and um, keeping on going with this barley, these small little fields. What I'd give to have like a nice 50 or 60 acre field just to go at, not a um, five and six. <laughs> I like to think that I'm all right at farming, but I tell you what, I do make mistakes and I'm not one to not own up to them. Check this out, this is like Clarkson's farm, this. Uh-oh, I left the tram line on. <laughs> Made a right mess, I did realize though. Um, later on in the field and sorted it out but left a mess. Um, I could have re-drilled it. I knew when I was drilling it that I'd done it wrong and I just thought well for what bit it is I'm just going to keep going. Just relish the mistake. I've got tram lines all over it but it's barely. It should fill in. Um, <laughs> what an idiot eh? Right inside at road as well where everyone can see. But that's how it goes. 
I, like I said, I'm not gonna not tell people on YouTube, try and hide it. I just relish in my mistakes. <laughs> Job that I've got GPS, so I know which tram line to pick. <laughs> More numpty. <laughs> These fields I'm in now are really like narrow, long fields. So I had to follow one edge with the GPS. <laughs> I've done all this with auto steer, but it's a wiggly line. Which is a bit of a pain, but if I did a straight line, I'd end up with an extra tram line in this field. So sometimes straight's not always the uh, the way. Look at that weapon! Yeah, it needs a clean. This is second wheat that's in here. Um, it's not. Uh, don't look like it's exactly thriving, but uh, hopefully with this bit of um, fertilizer on, it can start growing away. We can get a good crop from it. Yeah, I better crack back on really. Get something done. This is a great bit about I go up and GPS. I can just see which sections I need to have turned on. tells me when to turn them on, when to turn them off. Them green and that red bars, brilliant. Most of the RTK bit is just because I've not got my phone hot spotted to the um, tractor at the minute. As soon as I would, it'd pick up the RTK signal, but I don't need it for what I'm uh, doing right now, and it really drains my battery, so I'm just keeping off it. Farming in South Yorkshire. Yorkshire, a lot of people in it, no messing people. Um, Jesus, there's some rubbish about, it, isn't there? I don't know if this is like what it's like of the rest of the country, but I never seem to see it when I'm driving through such a Lincolnshire and places like that. Um, but here, yeah, we just seem to get it a lot. A lot of fly tipping, a lot of issues with motorbikes and 4x4s and stuff like that. Um, yeah. It's no good, is it? <laughs> he's been putting out some um, plasterboard. Now he's going to fetch me. He's going to fetch me. I've been waving at him like this. Fetch me three bags or two in one. Yeah. He's a good lad. Sorting the job out. So go back to the yard. M's over there. Somewhere waiting for Andy because he's going to fetch me some bags um, to put in. Right off for sleep because it's taking forever. He must be on some difficult bags or something. He must be on some top, top ones. We'll let him on. <laughs> oh, he's only fetched me one. He's been in there forever. He got lost, Andy. Uh, <laughs> oh, Andy. He couldn't bang her. He couldn't bang her. What's we put? Bang, bang it harder next time. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? Put it in comments. Andy couldn't bang ah. Uh... <laughs> right now we've got 210 horsepower, powering a little mill. Ridiculous. For some reason they're filling it with the org bucket. I think it's because it's a little bit easier for them to do it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't normally be filling it like that. It'd be normally just be bucketing it in because using the org bucket is just, uh, it's really heavy and you can't do it very quick. You're always, you're always filling the mill. Never stopping filling the mill when you're using the org bucket because it's so steady. But you don't spill any, so. It's good for him to practice on it. It's headland out, how smooth it is. I don't know if you can tell, but it's the roughest headland ever. What I want my dad to do when we're ploughing is leave a big headland so the plough can go this way all the time. But no, it comes up and it pulls out sort of where the bonnet is now. And it leaves all the ins and outs for me to ride over all season. The roughest fields you would ever imagine on the Edlands. Terrible, but can't get through to him. I just get thrown all about it. Not so bad in fertilizer spreader. When I'm in sprayer, booms are going. Woo, woo, <laughs> anyway, ran to oh, over. We had aircon, jumpers had to come off. <laughs> Needs to get this sorted, don't I? I really do. It's only going to get hotter. Field anyway, it's um, wheat after maize. It was putting a bit later, it's a bit 
shorter, a bit smaller crop, but this should get it going. Hands free farming for less than 1500 quid a tractor, probably around 1200 quid if you went on a steering wheel, steering motor. It'll drive you in a perfect straight line. Mind the uh, setting screen that I've just got up there. Within two centimetre accuracy because it's RTK. Got the fix on there. RTK fix. Business! The thing about having RTK is that these tram lines will be in the same place for eternity. So the compaction will only be in these places where I'm, I will drive now. Um, and when I come back to the field next year, I'll drive in exactly the same place to within two centimetres. Um, oh yeah, and I don't pay any subscription, by the way, because I put my own base station in that costs like 300 and, probably about 350 quid, put my own base station in and um, just run off that. So there's no subscription fees, there's no like five, 600 pound, 1,000 pound a year. Um, just use your phone to hotspot to the tablet, so it uses your phone's internet, and away you go. So all you need is a phone charger, because it, it does drain the battery on the phone, but you're in a tractor that's got 12 volts, so just get a phone charger. Business! Andy's doing a mix, she's got back into yard, M's here, let's see what she's got to say. Oh. Alright M. Andy tells me it's International Woman's Day. So I'm a woman. So, what are you going to say about it? Women are bigger. <laughs> Business. It is International Women's Day. Um, M's a legend. M's a legend. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to make you wash the fertiliser spreader. Why can I wash it? Well, or do I have to make you wash the fertiliser spreader? Because it's it. International Women's Day. I'll wash it for you. <laughs> But M's proper buzzing to wash my fertilizer spreader. Um, I've run out of jobs to do. Have you? Yeah, your dad's took the scene off my house. No way. No way. No way. Oh yeah, we'll set up, start washing that together. Business. Just firing away, washing my fertilizer spreader down. Very, very important that we do that. Fertilizer is very, very corrosive, um, especially when it draws in moisture. So we have to get it all washed off every time we use it. I didn't wash it off last night though, did I? But. We'll forget about that, eh? Uh, anyway, Andy's new tractor, minus the loader, what do people think? Think it looks better or worse? I don't know, I like it with a loader on. So it means we ain't got a loader parked up in the yard somewhere. But uh, anyway, Andy likes it like that, so whatever. Andy have it how he wants it. <laughs> She's back, we can tell Ash, because he's so luminous. <laughs> Water, which some of the chops, and I'm getting this pipe to come up because I've not turned it off. Yeah, it's under full pressure, Ash. This idea I can stop it with my hand like that, um, and at this side, you go, Ash! <laughs> So we've already had one attempt to put in and I got covered again. Oh! I think it might have been a good idea to turn it off, Joe. Yeah, it might have been a good idea. <laughs> you can tell I'm, I'm absolutely wet through. Um, but it's not cold, so, so that's job's That's about it for us uh, today. We've got that washed off, um, spread it. Um, we've got all tractors away and stuff, oh, which is great. Em's got a big pile of milling done that she's been doing. Legend. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Business. Well, we'll get you onto the proper bucket next time, maybe. Yeah. With the accuracy. 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 Is that right, Andy? Yeah. Yeah, it's quicker, isn't it, with proper bucket? It that. is quicker, but, but uh, precision is key at the moment. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be having to shovel it all up all the time, do we? Two, two yeah. inches of marginal error, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's very tight, isn't it, the bucket? But um, yeah, anyway, what I was trying to say is if you've liked our stuff, Remember to um, like and subscribe because that really helps us out. And you know what? Comment. Yeah, comment. Comment. Leave us some comments. They're brilliant. And we'll all see you um, tomorrow because everybody's in tomorrow. Full team business.